Hi everyone, welcome to the Tech Twins. I'm Mark. And I'm Andrew. If you're new here, we're juniors at UC Berkeley, double majoring in mechanical engineering and business, and have interned at Apple, Tesla, and Microsoft. Today, we're talking about the benefits of studying engineering in university. First, what is engineering? There are a few types, mechanical, electrical, civil, industrial, computer science, and many more. Civil engineers typically work on buildings and structures. Mechanical engineers can work on product designs like cars and iPhones. Industrial engineers work on supply chain and optimization. Electrical engineers work on circuits, whereas computer scientists work with software and code. Engineers in general build everything around us and continually solve problems. So why study engineering in university? It's typically more challenging to get into engineering programs than the general university, and a degree is four years of hard work. The first reason is versatility. I personally think that no matter what you're interested in, engineering is a great undergrad degree. Since engineering is based on classes like multivariable calculus and physics where there's a structured approach to solving problems, it teaches you a general problem solving mindset and you can apply this to any field. We've had classmates who go on from studying engineering to go to law school or business school or go into typically business roles like investment banking or consulting. In our experience, companies will consider you for a role outside of engineering even if you have no experience in the field, if you can thrive in your rigorous engineering degree, they can be sure you have what it takes to learn on the job. When I was a freshman, a lot of people told me about this problem-solving mindset, but for a long time, I didn't believe them because I hadn't seen it work for me. But now that I'm three years through my education, I definitely agree that engineering teaches you a problem-solving mindset. And even if you forget the content of your classes, you remember the approach that you can take towards solving difficult problems. The second reason we think that you should consider studying engineering in university is that you can help build the future. Would you rather spectate about what's happening next or be a part of building it? Engineers build things that push society forward, and that makes work really fun. Tech companies are often mission focused too, so the work culture is really welcoming. Often the only way to get a job at these companies, however, is by studying engineering in college. For example, for our roles at Apple, Tesla, and Microsoft last summer and this summer, we wouldn't have been considered had we not been studying engineering. There's a Steve Jobs quote I really like that's related to this topic. It goes, life can be much broader once you discover one simple fact. Everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you, and you can change it, you can influence it, you can build your own things that other people can use. Engineering allows you to mold the world by creating things that both you and other people can benefit from. And that's what I think is one of the most appealing parts of getting this type of degree. The third reason to study engineering is ROI. ROI stands for return on investment. If you've seen this TV show Silicon Valley, you're probably aware that tech jobs in Silicon Valley have some of the best perks and pay of all jobs out there. These change from company to company based on company size and funding but in general, tech roles are some of the best paid in the industry. When you're deciding what college to go to and what to study, many people, ourselves included, think of this like an investment. And if you're investing money into getting an education, you want to maximize the return on that initial investment. Since there's a supply shortage of engineers in the US, studying engineering allows you to get paid higher than many of your peers. So this will vary from company to company, of course, but the general rule of thumb is engineers get paid well. For example, if you graduate from the College of Engineering at Berkeley, the average starting salary is around $90,000, whereas the average starting salary for a general United States graduate is around $50,000. The Daily Cal is the student newspaper at UC Berkeley, and they stated that an engineering graduate from UC Berkeley is nearly guaranteed to be $1.1 million better off than a peer who never even graduated university in 20 years. Additionally, because of this push from companies to get more students to study engineering, there are a lot more scholarships for STEM students. And so this gives you a greater opportunity to reduce your college loans before you graduate. Before we end this video, we want to address two stereotypes that might prevent you from considering engineering. The first is that engineers are just nerds. And the second is that women don't study engineering. To address the first one, all the engineers at Berkeley are very nice people and really like solving large problems. I wouldn't call these people nerds and would be happy to work with them on any group project. And coming into Berkeley, I thought that the engineering students would be very competitive. I found that when we actually got to the school, the engineering students are some of the most collaborative across the entire university. And if you need help with a problem set or studying for a test, there's always going to be an engineering student who is going to want to study with you or can help you with 
uh, any of your questions. If you look at the statistics, it's true that women are underrepresented in many STEM fields. However, that doesn't mean that this should be the norm. I personally know that it's extremely valuable to have a variety of different perspectives in the classroom. It contributes to a more interesting classroom discussion and more interesting results and problems that can be solved. And I know that a lot of my peers at Berkeley, especially in the engineering department, agree as well. There are also communities for women who want to be in engineering, like the Society of Women Engineers, and there are even engineering sororities. We hope we've helped open your eyes to potentially studying engineering in university. If you have any questions about engineering, as a reminder, we're both juniors studying mechanical engineering at Berkeley, and we'd be happy to help answer your questions in the comments below. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching our video. Like this video, comment below, and make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications.